Hi. Today we're going to work on making a little heart box. This is a great Valentine's gift. It has a lot of little divisions. So to prepare, I've gotten my piece of wood ready. Uh, in this case, I'm using three quarter inch cherry. It just happens to be my choice. You can make it thicker or thinner as your scroll saw and your preference allows. I've already put blue painter's tape on my wood. Then I've applied my pattern. Now you can use spray cement, you can use glue, you can use you know kids glue. I like to use kids stick glue. And uh, you see I've kind of got a little bit on my pattern there. So this is how we're going to start. And now let's head over to a drill press. We're going to drill some holes in each of these little hearts. We're going to cut these out and so that these will be openings and this is going to be a wall and it's going to be a box. Now one of our viewers just mentioned uh, we can use big holes here. These are just scrap but at this point right here let's see if we can get that up where you can see it at this point right here we're saving both sides. This is our wall for our lid and this is our base here with our little divisions in it so we really don't want this hole to show and we do need that because we need to cut all the way around this. So I changed out to a smaller bit. And while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw all the others small too. Now you can drill your holes where you've drilled. You want to kind of make sure that those things aren't splinters sticking down because that will help teeter your board on your... Uh, scroll table and any teetering that it does will cause your not to get a straight cuts so you want to have all that cleaned up all those little holes back. okay now one other thing you might want to do is I like to start in the center of my project or toward the middle it's just away from me from that little problem these days I'll probably make a video about that because many people ask me about how to cut a straight line and so on. So this is my smooth curve following the line. Coming back to my little entry hole. Okay, take the blade out. Here we go. Same process we've been doing all along. Okay. Um, now normally you could take just an ordinary piece of sandpaper, a nice sheet, and just lay it out on a flat table with surface and just sand a little bit off. What we're going for is we just want to get rid of these little uh, fuzzes on the back here. And depending on what kind of blade you used, how bad those are going to be. But that's all we're doing. We're just going to get rid of those little fuzzes. Doesn't take much. Just a couple little rubs in uh, several different directions to kind of work them off. And now on the other one, I'm going to do the same thing. A pattern like this, it's symmetrical. A person could mistakenly try to put it together the wrong way. And even though it's really close, there's enough difference it's not going to fit. So match your grain just to make sure you get it right. Okay, we're back. Okay, so we've got this piece glued on onto our 3 16 inch backer board. Got another piece 3 16 right here. And what I want to do is make sure that I get my outer ring on properly. I want to know that for sure that I've got the right side there. Again, so I don't get it messed up. Got to flip it over so that I know I'm getting the glue on the right side there. And I do want to get this one really good because this is the 
lid and I don't want it to have little cracks and stuff in the edges. I feel kind of like those uh, cooking shows, you know, they put the, the uh, fresh cake batter in the oven and two minutes later they pull out a beautiful cake. It's kind of like why I'm using this kind of glue. Okay, so the wonders of super glue magic now. I'm going to put this on here. And I want to get my grain lined up all oh, about where I had it before, I believe. And press down firmly. Now, we're going to put these together as though they were the box. Okay. I'm at the bottom. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, maybe, yeah, I think you can see it better that way. I'm just following that edge real close with my blade. Now the toughest part about doing these when you're doing the edges is you can't see this direction right now. I gotta lean my head way out there. And I'm gonna skip it again because I can come back and do that better later. As you got a little bit of a fling, I was forcing a little bit more than I should have there. Okay, we're almost done. This is looking pretty good, folks. Well, it certainly helps I can see where I'm going, but it's not as easy to guide. I'm not going to spiral blades. I don't make a practice for them, as you can probably tell. Okay, now what we're going to do with this, test fit, open it. Isn't that cute? Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see that. Okay, there we are. So now we have a rim here. Nice little lid. Get the corners. I just, I just sort of smooth them out a little bit. I like to do. Open it up. I like to buff off these edges just a little bit too. Doesn't take much. Just a little bit. Only thing left to do is put a little finish on it. And I'm thinking I'm just going to rub a little um, oil finish on that. And I think we're just about done.